Dear God, today on August 15, 2024, Father God, I want to say thank you. Thank you for humbling us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for keeping my children safe today, Father God. Thank you, God, for all that you have done for my family and I. Thank you for your protection over our lives, Father God. I pray for your divine presence to keep God in us and protecting us each and every day of our lives. Thank you, God. Amen. God. <laughs> Thank you, God. I really am grateful for you, God. Father God, you know that you did a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on us in our life today. Hey, family. So, yes, God has been good to me. God has been good to y'all because I am a praying warrior for y'all, just like I'm a praying word over my kids. Baby, we had an early start and it was amazing. As soon as we got home, baby, I was like, come on, let's, you know, do it our one, two. Go for a walk with me, love bugs. And of course, my love bugs, they were with it. So the fact that I keep receiving all of these blessings, like God is showing me new beginnings over and over again by creating this divine, intentional phase of my life, which is a direct reflection of my children's life, for me to have a son, which is my only son, a kid of mine in college, it's, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It, it was running from over there, and it took so a... First, I saw it on the street, and I said, what is that? Right. And then it came. First, I saw it over there mm -hmm. where we was, mm -hmm. and then it came over here, and then went back, and then it, like... Back and you was like, what is that? You was like, is that a puppy? I'm like, where, TJ? What are you looking at? So the fact that we just it's, we just seen a fox and you seen it so soon before everybody else. So God wanted us to see that fox. And that's why I read what I read to you because that was the message that the fox gave us. And mommy needed that message, you know? Just like I needed this walk. Today was amazing. God is good. All the time. God is good. Amen. Thank you, God. So, yes, as y'all can see, yes, intelligence. And basically, it symbolizes intelligence and understanding the wisdom of discernment. It can be a reminder that you are ready for this challenge. And, baby, I challenged myself to keep doing something different and... I was weary today in so many different aspects, but that walk letting me, you know what I mean, just release it and be grateful for everything that occurred today and then get a beacon of like, like God knew I need more reinsurance. Like I've been praying that he gives me more reinsurance. So it's just the principle that I keep on keeping on. So immediately after our work, I got my babies in a bath, gave it to Elijah her bath. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to juice because I have things to juice. So baby, I came home and, you know, handled my business, my due diligence of cutting up the fruit, which basically I had to like, get rid of that whole watermelon that was in my refrigerator because we ate a lot of it. But it's important that you clean your stuff because I don't always juice the core of my watermelon because I be having so many watermelons. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to be intentional with this. I'm not playing. I'm going to juice this watermelon. And baby, I did just that. I juiced this watermelon. But I started off with my apples. So what you see me pouring here now is probably just apple and ginger because this um first one that's like half empty it was full <laughs> my daughter was like can i get some apple juice i was like absolutely they sure could i had to make this in slow motion for y'all because i needed y'all to see the goodness of doing things on your own being more intentional about your health and your health is well your wealth and ultimately my wealth is my health and because of that i make it um a consistent ordeal for me to juice for me to be intentionally with working out every day and I got an early start today so no I didn't do my hour a day of anything but 
I did do jumping jacks when I was at the university with my son. I did come home and me and my girls got like a 35 minute walk in. So I'm forever grateful for my obedience and um, my willingness to keep showing up. So the fact that I keep showing up is because I know that the way that I feel as though I'm being pulled from so many different variants right now, so many different obstacles in my life that my blessing is on this way. Like I know that I have to keep faith in God. And because of that, I just keep showing up. Like I just keep on knowing that this too shall pass. But I thank God for everything. Like when I say I thank God for everything, I thank God for everything. There's nothing I don't thank God for. Like I thank God because the devil and the enemy be working, but because they be working, that means I have to keep my faith in God to know that I can't be a devil back. <laughs> Come on, somebody. So I just have to like remain in isolation. Like I've been putting myself in isolation like a lot because this elevation that I have to achieve is personal. It's so personal that ooh, it feels spooky. Like spooky season is approaching. Like it's about to get spooky. And I know when to fall back. And the fact that fall is my favorite season, autumn is my favorite season. Like I am looking forward to this fall back. Like I'm looking forward to basically keep on keeping on despite the difficulties, despite storm so i just want to say like i'm going to be intentional with my intentions and i hope and pray that as these words leave my mouth and come to your ears that it's a blessing for you that i'm a beacon of light for you to want to reevaluate anything that's in your life even if it's you in your own life nine times nine times out of ten we be in our own way because we're praying for to God to basically show us things and then now we want to put the biggest and darkest shades on so we can't see stuff like why why are we in our own way why are we doing that like stop playing with yourself don't do that to yourself like why would you keep praying and then now you worrying about it like your finances is not your business no more when you give it to God when you give your children to God and ask God to save them deliver them it's not your business no more you gave it to God you could keep praying to God over and over for them, but God don't want you worrying. So throughout my days in this last week and a half, two weeks, maybe three weeks, I get weary. I get tired. Like I get, I feel depleted at times and I'll bet I'll bounce back. So it's like, I know that everything is going to work out for my highest good. And out of all of these experiences, good is only going to come. So I have to keep being the beacon of light for myself sometimes. That's why I make these videos because, believe it or not, I be listening to my own videos, my own content, and, and, and giving me reminders. And I be like, God damn, I needed to hear that. You feel me? Like, down to me being a praying warrior over my son. God gave me my son first. That was my first child that he gifted me because he thought that I was worthy to receive. Like I had to learn the value in myself first before I care if anybody else had the value in me because there is no greater love than God. There's no greater love than God. My son ain't going to love me more than God. God's still going to love me more than how my than, than my son will ever love me. So therefore, God always remind me to give any and everything to him. Because at the end of the day, he seen fit that I had these blessings. He seen fit that I was able to hear the word mom. He seen fit that it was my divine birthright to juice these carrots let's get into these carrots do y'all juice carrots this is also a juice it with me video because i'm watching this as i'm doing this voiceover but however look how i am making it happen like i'm you know i'm i'm knocking these jars down I, i'm i'm pretty really 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 proud of myself because i made a choice to make a change so when i say heavenly father please protect my son protect them from my and his attire 
enemies. Like, protect them from the, the, the people that just have an issue with me. So the fact that they got an issue with me, they want to have it out for my son. And he don't even know it. Because I don't even know that half of the time people got issues with me. But I pray, God, please protect me from... Please protect him, okay, God, from mine and his enemies. Protect him from diseases and accidents, Father God. Save him from situations that may claim his life, Father God. Warn him if he's next step, if his next step, Father God. Warn him if his next step would be fatal for him, Father God. Save him from evil people, Father God. Forgive him for his sins and his transgressions, Father God. Keep him under your feet in your light, Father God. Save him from the thieves and the murderers, Father God. And I just ask that when he do feel weary, Father God, that he know to come to you and rest on your shoulder, Father God. Because you'll be the one that could calm his soul always before anybody else know that he feeling weary, Father God. I ask that he have that discernment to come to you, Father God. I ask this for all of my children, Father God, as I increase our territory Father God, I just forever say thank you, Father God. So I know that when I feel weary, Father God, I will go in prayer, Father God. And the fact that I go into prayer, Father God, my prayer is for peace and protection over myself and others, over my children, over my those that I, I never even met, Father God. Just, you know, protect over us. So I just feel like I want you guys to remember to always go to God in prayer for everything. Now, I don't usually... Matter of fact, this is my first time juicing parsley. So I don't know what it's going to taste like. I don't know what and how or, you know, what it's going to come out to be, like what it's going to look like, what it's going to smell like. But baby, if you don't do anything else, make sure you wash it. And I did soak this in vinegar and baking soda, but I didn't... Um, open the bunches up like I didn't take the zip tie off of it which is why I'm I'm breaking them apart and doing more um washing like I'm making sure that it, it rinses very very well and that's very important for anything you do in your kitchen like I don't know how to tell y'all what to do but I can only show y'all what I do baby and what I do I do it well and I'm you know me versus me like I'm not worrying about what nobody else got going on. I'm not, you know, I'm, it's, this is clear. Everything in my life right now is crystal clear. Like God is showing me, baby, I'm going to isolate you because I'm about to elevate you. But are you ready? And I'm like, yes, God, I'm ready as I drop this lime into here. So I wanted to do parsley and lime. So to give it that cut, because I know this isn't going to yield much. And here I am thinking that I could take that whole bunch and put it inside it. That's what I'm talking about. God will make you readjust your own stuff real quick. Like, come on, baby, think about it. Like, really? Are you really ready? Do you really, really think that you could do that? So when I tell you that stay out your own way, I mean that with love and light because my experiences taught me that. And... I don't know. I didn't have too many motivating people around me. If anything, I always prayed for discernment and I got to see things because I had to go into a season of isolation or a season of Talijah. It's kind of silence. Like I know the power of silence and I too fall short. Like I know I shouldn't have probably even texted. Anybody probably today, like, or have the conversations that I did end up engaging in, you know what I mean? Not intentionally, but because I was weary. So it's just certain things. It's like, okay, silence is golden. So I have to also pat myself and pinch myself and let myself know, like, nah, get back in line. Like, stay, stay focused on your purpose. Like, water your grass. Like, your grass is greener. Like... You need to stay in your limelight, stay in your will, and stay in the way that God sees fit for you. Because abundance is your birthright, queen. So don't go weary. Continue to be grateful and thankful. And God know that no matter what the circumstances be, like I show gratitude. Like I dance in the midst of storm. Like I know that my territory has only been being increased. It keeps increasing. And for that, I'm willing to make a change, which is I juice.
parsley. I never juice parsley, but I know I want to remove toxins out of my body. So if God gave me parsley to use it for so many different levels, then why am I not leveling up? Why aren't you leveling up when you know better, you do better? So as a result, it's like, okay, I made a choice to make a change to juice me some parsley to add with my carrots, my apple, my ginger, my lime, my watermelon. What else I had today? Yeah, I think that was everything. Like I didn't juice no pineapples because I didn't buy any because none was on set. And I darn sure didn't juice um the grapes i do have grapes in my refrigerator because at the end of the day it's like i shop meaningfully and i shop to juice intentionally with things that has a bigger yield for lesser um money so i'll post a video on um what i purchased for this juicing session so the fact that a matter is Talijah Malika is walking into her purpose. Talijah Malika is a human becoming a better woman, becoming a better mother, becoming a better sister, becoming a better woman of God. And I'm doing that by, let me say, I guess when I go in isolation, like I'm leveling up, I'm reinventing myself. So the fact that I'm doing it and I'm doing it by being intentional with my goals, I wrote down a plan and I'm sticking to it. It feels good. So anything that you want, it starts with you writing it down. And that's a form of manifestation. That's a form of you talking to God and whether you're not able to voice how you feel, write it down. My, I am, I'm in a season of discipline. Like my D's are playing real hard for me right now. Like I'm determined. Like my drive is basically relentless for me right now. You understand? Like I know I'm in a season of elevation because God is isolating me. Like he's letting me know, like, no, I'm not giving you these things right now because you don't deserve it. You are more than worthy. But it's just a delay, baby. Keep going. God told me it's delayed, not denied. So I'm being disciplined. I'm being disciplined. I'm transforming from the girl I was into this woman that I'm becoming effortlessly, okay? And sometimes the fact that I'm becoming this better woman, I have to pray for more discernment because I'm such a nurturer. I'm such a loving, divine being that I overlook stuff. I get in my own way. I get in my own way. So the fact that I get in my own way, I had to learn to heal myself. I had to learn to work on me. You understand? Like, so if if I love to do these things, I'm inviting other women that love to do these things. If you love the juice and you love a good green juice or you like a good slice of a cake, if you love waking up early, if you love taking care of your body, your mind, your spirit, if you love, you know, just feeling good by wearing a matching outfit for the day, like, and then maybe a sweatsuit on another day. If that makes you feel good and you're embracing your uniqueness, baby, we going to be all right. Like, we're going to show love and light 24-7 out here. Like, I'm I'm her. Like, I, I really stand in my own uniqueness because... God didn't make another Talaja Malika. God did bless Talaja Malika with a Talaja Joy Marie. And for that, I'm grateful. <laughs> so when I say like when we're feeling weary or we feel depleted or we feeling depressed or we feeling like this can't be life, I'm going to need you to get up. I'm going to need you to get up, baby. I'm going to need you to get up. Get up and get outside. Don't procrastinate. 
get things done. When you don't feel motivated, put this video on. I don't know. Go to my channel. I don't know. Open a blind. If you got your blinds closed, open a blind. Open that. Open that blind, please, and thank you. You understand? Like, you have to. Like, you got to keep on keeping or you cannot give up. You have to affirm that all things are working out for your highest good. And out of these experiences, only good will come. You got to know that. You got to activate your higher self. You got to pour into yourself.